Welcome into the 10 day bat speed challenge. Over the next 10 days, I'm gonna share with you how you can increase your ball exit speed off of a tee four plus miles an hour, okay? In just 10 days, okay? And as you know, everyone nowadays is so fixated on data. They're so fixated on their numbers and how can they increase their ball exit speed and get it as high as possible. So you probably go online on YouTube and you type in, how do I increase my ball exit speed? Or how do I increase my bat speed, right? And what pops up are these crazy drills and crazy exercises in the gym, right? And lifting heavy weights and learning how to be explosive. But I'm gonna tell you right now, there's a much easier way for you to increase your ball exit speed and power, okay? Because whenever I was a senior in high school, I could not even bench 100 pounds and I couldn't squat 100 pounds. And I was still able to generate a ton of bat speed because I did this simple drill, all right? I was still able to hit home runs but I was one of the weakest players on the team, honestly. And it's because I did this drill almost every single day that I'm gonna share with you, okay? So you don't have to do all these crazy exercises in the gym and get crazy strong to be able to have good bat speed and good power, all right? Because I know I was working out one day and I was in the CrossFit room and I saw this kid, he had on his high school baseball shirt and he was just pushing sleds up and down this floor, right? I mean, like 300 pound sleds, just pushing as much as he could. And he was wearing himself out. And him and his dad, whenever they got done with the workout, I stopped them and I said, you know, what are, what are you trying to work on? What are you trying to do? And they said they were trying to work on their bat speed and their power. They're trying to increase his power. And I looked at him and said, I know a much easier way to increase your bat speed than pushing this heavy sled across the floor back and forth, all right? So I shared with them the exact same process that I'm gonna share with you today. And we started working together. His dad wanted to gain three miles an hour in three months. We gained eight miles an hour in just 30 days, okay? So they were looking for three miles an hour in three months and got eight miles an hour in just 30 days of following this simple process, all right? And you don't need to do all the heavy, crazy training all you need is to swing and hit with the right tools, okay? So that bodes the question of, well, how do I increase my bat speed, right? And I tell my players all the time, you know, if you wanna get stronger, you go to the gym and you lift heavy weights, right? Well, it's no different if you want to increase your bat speed. You want to train with a heavier bat. And the reason for that is a heavier bat is going to strengthen up those swing muscles. It's gonna make you stronger right? But the big issue is all the heavy training bats on the market, they're all in loaded. So all the weights on the end of the bat. So it's kind of like the sledgehammer here with all the weight on the end of the sledgehammer. If I were to hold this from the handle and tried to swing it, this feels way too heavy for me to swing. And it's going to force me to break down my mechanics and it's going to slow my swing down, right? But if I were to take this same sledgehammer and hold it from right below the weight, I can control this much easier now, right? I'm gonna be able to swing this a lot faster and it's not going to break down my mechanics, okay? It's the same weight object, just the weight placement is in a different area, okay? So it's just like this Camwood bat right here. So the Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer is a heavy training bat, but the weight is right here above the hands instead of in the barrel. Okay, so this Camwood Hand and Speed Trainer, this is the adult version, it's a plus 12. So this is a 33 inch Camwood, this is 45 ounces. Okay, and the reason I'm able to swing this with no issues is because the weight is right here above the hands and not in the barrel, okay? So I'm able to swing this just like my normal game bat and I can control it really easy, but I'm training with a heavy bat and I'm strengthening my muscles. Okay, so I know exactly what you're thinking right now is, man, that bat is way too heavy for me to swing. And I can tell you right now, that's the furthest thing from the truth. So did you know that the average MLB bat weight is 32 ounces? Well, I wanna share with you a video of one of our 12 year old players training with a 36 ounce Camwood bat. And as you will be able to see, he has no issues whatsoever getting this bat through the zone. So that's pretty crazy, isn't it? 
12 years old and he's training with a 36 ounce Camwood bat, which is four ounces heavier than your average MLB bat. And he has absolutely no issues at all because of the design of the bat with the uh, weight right here above the hands, okay? So whenever we're doing bat speed training with our players, every one of them are training with a Camwood hands and speed trainer, all right? So now I want to share with you the process that we do with the Camwood Hands of Speed Trainer in order to increase your ball exit speed extremely fast, okay? And the way we do this is a process that you've probably heard before. It's overload, underload training, right? So your overload training is going to be your heavy bat, which is your Camwood bat. And then your underload training is going to be with a lighter bat, which we like to use our actual game bats for this training, okay? A lot of people that do overload, underload training use a heavy bat like a cam would for the overload, but they like to drop down to a fungo or something really light for the underload bat. And I don't like that because whenever you drop down to that fungo, whenever you put your actual game bat in your hands, it's gonna feel heavy again, right? So I use my game bat as my underload because whenever I get up to the plate, I want that game bat to feel as light as possible, right? And as you know, whenever you step up to the plate and that bat feels light and you feel like you're swinging it fast on the on-deck circle, you have a lot more confidence, right? So if you're constantly training with your game bat as your light underload trainer, what do you think it's gonna feel like when you get to the plate? It's gonna feel really light and you're gonna have all that confidence to be able to do some damage, okay? So this is the exact process that we do, okay? It's called two and twos. All right, we do two swings with the Camwood Hands and Speed Trainer, and we do two swings with our underload, which is our game bat, okay? And whenever we do our game bats, I know a lot of you have your aluminums, but I really highly recommend using a wood bat during this training, okay? Because I'm a huge proponent of training with a wood bat. If I'm working with a player in the cage here, I don't allow them to bring their aluminum bats in the cage because it hinders their swing. All right, so whenever we're training, I'm always training my players with a wood bat. And the reason for that is because a normal wood bat has an average sweet spot of about three inches, right? It's like three to four inches. That aluminum bat has a, a sweet spot average of like six to seven inches, right? So it's a much larger sweet spot on that aluminum bat. So what do you think it's gonna feel like whenever you're training with a wood bat and you get consistent barreling the ball up with a three inch sweet spot on the wood bat and then you go into the games you pick up that aluminum and the sweet spot's twice the size of what you're used to already right you're going to be barreling the ball up everywhere i mean you're going to be getting consistent contact no matter what with the aluminum bat because you're used to training with a wood that has a much smaller sweet spot right so when we do this process we do two swings with our cam wood two swings with our game bat and we keep alternating back and forth and the key to the drill obviously is 100 percent effort every swing okay so if you get tired then you want to take a break all right this is about quality not quantity all right so that simple process right there i promise is going to skyrocket your ball exit speeds and if you don't already have a camwood hands and speed trainer to do this you can go ahead and click the button down below. You'll see, if you scroll down, you'll see a button to click for the Camel Hands and Speed Trainer. We'll go ahead and get these shipped out to you. We have them in stock already. So if you put an order in, it'll ship the same day or the next business day. So you will get them very quickly, okay? So if you're excited like I am to get inside this 10 day bass speed challenge and increase that ball exit speed, go ahead and get your Camel Hands and Speed Trainer today. And I'll see you on day number one of the 10 day bass speed challenge.